Welcome, this is Leah from All Things Cards. Today I'm making the background for these really sweet cards. I hope you like them. I had the background wrap around the card and I did this because I thought it was just kind of a unique look for these specific cards. For the inside of the card, I combined a couple of different stamps from this stamp set. Smart, sweet, beautiful, as can be. If you would like to see a hack on how I made 12 sentiments in just a few minutes using my Misty, please look in the description for a link to that video. I started with my card stock fully open. I didn't even put a, what do you call it? Uh, ooh, that thing that we put in it so we can fold it. Can't remember what it's called right now. I didn't even do that. Score! I didn't even score the card stock before I started this. I wanted to have it absolutely flat so that I could have the background of the front of the card. Well, I guess the background to the card go from the back to the front and then inside the card I had it so that the bee uh, trail was going across the entire card and landing the bee onto the center of the right hand side when the cards opened. It took me a couple of tries to figure out exactly where to place my stencil. Isn't it funny how some hacks can be discovered by accident? Well, this one I discovered because I was too lazy to put away my Misty after I'd stamped my sentiments. I looked at my laminated grid paper and thought that I could use that instead of having to move everything out of the way to get down to my worktop. So I put down my paper and just naturally added the magnets to hold it in place. I then started to reach for my purple tape to use on the stencil. I looked at my intense magnet and put it down. It held like a charm. I didn't need any tape. It wasn't until I had finished stenciling my card bases that I realized I just accidentally discovered a hack. Wendy Vecchi's Make Art Station was something that I'd seen a few card makers use with their stencils and thought it was a nice idea, but I just didn't need another thing that I'd have to find a place for. Well, guess what? If you've a Misty or a stamping platform, you already have the making of one of these stations. Our heavy duty magnets will hold the paper and the stencil so that we can more easily use these tools to make fun cards. So pull out your stamp platform and your stencils and give it a try.
Thank you for watching today. I hope you will visit us on Facebook at All Things Cards. We're always happy each subscriber who subscribes to our channel. Please ring the bell if you'd like to receive notification of our videos as they come out. Have a great day. May God richly bless you. This little B on the front of the card is from a different stamp set. He was just so perfect. He was flying from the left to the right, and that's exactly what I needed. So I grabbed him and used him for the front of my cards. You can see here the flowers that I made using a dye and some alcohol ink paper that I made. I did a purple red one, and then I did an orange red one. I also did greens so that I could cut out leaves and different kind of plain flowers that I could put in the back behind the alcohol inked ones. Would you please consider subscribing to our channel and ring the bell if you'd like our new posts to show up in your YouTube feed.